Hello, I'm ABX Toy Cat, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about the least logical crafting recipes in Minecraft. And the reason I'm doing this is because most recipes in the game you look at for the first time, maybe you smile, and you realize, ah, yeah, that totally makes sense. So, examples of this would include the pickaxe or the half slap, for instance. However, some of the recipes in the game you look at for the first time, you think, ooh, that doesn't make too much sense. And then the more you look into it, the less sense it makes. And I figured I'd go through the least logical crafting recipes for that reason. So, please do like it if you do like it, because it helps out the channel a lot and lets me do like these slightly different videos. But but let's get straight into it, shall we? With the quick little, uh, you know, forewarning that this is going to be using the console automatic crafting system just because it allows me to show you the game's intended way of crafting these things. This isn't a weird, janky way that I've come up with myself. These are the game's intended methods, the most logical way the game could come up with. So just bear that in mind as we get into the first one, which is actually oak wood. So oak wood, you know, comes like this normally. You chop it down and you turn it into planks and you get four times as many planks. So this one is easily defensible because you can say, oh, well, I guess oak wood planks are just, you know, a less dense material or maybe they're hollow on the inside. But if wait, you know, you have this much uh, wood now from just a single block. When you turn that much wood into sticks, you only get eight sticks. So you can see right here, you get eight of them. So eight sticks, at least to me, doesn't seem like it's quite as many as you get from, you know, that thing right there. It looks to me like based on the item size that you should probably get some more. And again, you can look at this and say, oh, well, I guess they're just, you know, maybe there's a lot of wood loss or maybe they're just really dense. You know, you have to pick one of the two arguments, but it doesn't make too much sense when you then take these sticks, which are meant to be super thick or meant to be, you know, just a super big waste of time, because if you turn them into into coal, um, you know, torches like this, you get four torches. But if you turn them into redstone torches like this, you get a single torch. And, <laughs> you know, I, I look at the two blocks side by side, and I don't think this is a quarter the size of this. Maybe I'm entirely wrong on that assumption. But yeah, that's that right there. So somewhere in the wood process, you know, Steve is hiding some of the wood for himself. I don't know what he's doing with it, but that's, <laughs> you know, there's clearly some massive amount of logicalness there. I don't know why, you know, you get entirely different amounts for the redstone torch and for the regular torch, but I guess the game just decided that seems fair. And they kind of stuck with it. So yeah, that's that right there. Somewhere in this process, there's some amount of logic, if not multiple amounts of logic, if that's a thing. But yeah, let's move on to the next one, which again is to do with wood. So, you know, like I mentioned earlier, how half slaps are a pretty logical recipe because you take some uh, oak wood uh, planks and you're like, oh, well, you take three of them, you get six oak wood slaps. If we place that down just to show you how that makes sense. So, you know, obviously the free oak wood you would have turns into this. So a simple example is a single oak wood uh, plank gives you uh, two things like this. So as simple as that, one of these gives you two of those. That makes entire sense, right? Because it's the same as surface area. But the thing that doesn't make sense is if you turn it into stairs. So if we ignore the fact that for some reason on the console, it starts as wood here and coupled by that. But yeah, basically when you get six bits of wood together in this format, you get four stairs. And I'm not complaining with the recipe. The recipe looks kind of cool. It looks like a staircase to some extent. However, what I am going to complain about is the fact that if you have four of these stairs, Compare this to what six blocks would get you. So this is four stairs, and then, you know, this is made from six wood, so we do that like that. Um, if you look at these two things side by side, you can clearly see that a lot of the wood just goes missing. This is exactly the same, I want to clarify, but this, you know, free, free wood for every two stairs, just doesn't make sense, because you're taking some of the wood out. I mean, at the very most, it should be four planks for four stairs, or six planks for six stairs if you want to keep the same recipe, but no, you get four of these. I think, you know, maybe someone did a math error, and they realized that it should be eight, because if, you know, because this is three quarters of block, you should get eight of uh, staircases for every six of these, but I guess that's just not how it works. Instead, you get you a, lo a lot of wood goes missing somewhere, and uh, maybe we should check Steve's pockets the next time he leaves the crafting table. That's all I'm saying. And let's move into the next one. So, um, you know, if you ignore the sticks thing, if you ignore the uh, torches thing, you ignore the wooden thing. There's one more wood recipe that does get on my nerves before we move on to the other ones, and that is the trapdoor. So I know the reason behind why they had to do it this way, because if you look at the two trapdoors, they're made differently and you get different amounts. And you can argue that I guess, you know, maybe those middle two um, you know, planks in the middle there, maybe they, you know, work out to be uh, like used for each side of it, and it's one and a half on each side. I, I don't even know. But either way, uh, I, I know the reason for this is because the six iron bars is actually used up, oh, sorry, the six iron things together in the way you would make this, is actually used up to already by the iron bars. So they just decided to make the iron trapdoor an entirely different recipe, but why not just use move the wooden trapdoor with it? Because then they would actually make sense together. Like these are the exact same block, just made from different material, but this one just makes less sense in some way. I don't entirely understand why that is. Why don't you just change the iron bar recipe? Maybe I'm uh, asking too many questions and uh, someone's gonna you know come get me. But I I just think that uh, you probably don't you probably don't need to have two entirely different recipes. But let's move on to the next uh, set of uh, confusions here, and that actually for me has to come from the map because the map uh, this is the same because uh, console and PC, just on the console you get a big map at first, you take a compass and you surround it by paper and you get a map and uh, I don't know, I like the idea of this because you know the compass always points to home and your, you know, your map needs to point there too maybe, but it, it doesn't actually make too much sense because
because the compass can be pointing to any direction. You're going to get the exact same map. And also, it doesn't explain where all the ink on the map comes from. I think if you had, let's say, um, you know, green ink, whatever the most common color is, or green dye as the center of the map, that would make sense because that's where all the color comes from. But in this in this case, the compass is just magically filling in the map. And it's not only just magically filling in the map, but as you go somewhere, so if I was to go all the way over to there, we'd fill in more parts of the map. So am I drawing it as I go along? What am I drawing it with? These, these are questions I guess I'll never have answered. But that is uh, why the map is a very logical crafting recipe. And let's move on to the next one, which is going to have to be the bed. So the bed, uh, it's I guess it's made from wood, so maybe I'm ragging on wood some more. But, you know, I I'm sure we've all looked at the bed before and realized, wait a minute, the bed's mostly red, but we're using white wool to craft it. But that's not the only place where it's weird, because if you look at the, you know, it's three bits of wood to three bits of wool. But you can clearly see there's much more, you know, uh, wool involved than there is wood. But again, we'll ignore that because they chop off lots of wood and just throw it away somewhere and we never get to see it again. That's fine. But it also doesn't explain how any color of dye you use will give you uh, on of wool. So you use free black wool. We'll give you this exact same bed, even though this exact same bed is, uh, you know, three quarters uh, of one color and one quarter of another, which means even if you use two uh, red wool and one white wool, you still wouldn't get this exact same bed here. So uh, exactly why the bed is this way, I don't know. I'd like to see different colored beds to match the color of wool you're using. Maybe uh, that, that would make sense to me, but maybe that's uh, just too much forward thinking. That is the bed right there. Very, very weird uh, amount of logic, but that's that's the red. Uh, that's the bed. The red bed and the illogical red bed. So moving on from the red bed, which I, I, I like that little rhyme, even if it's just two words. Let's move on to the carpets. So carpets are something, I like the recipe for them, I think, Maybe it makes sense, but I think you should get much more carpets because if you look at the uh, the two wool right here, so this is the two wool used to make these three carpets. I can't help but feel, you know, maybe maybe again, I can't, I'm not very spatially aware, but it looks like two full blocks of wool doesn't quite work out to be three of these. I mean, again, I <laughs> I don't want to say I'm a genius that can uh, spatially work out stuff like this, but it does look like even if you stack them like this, you can still tell there's just a lot of wool that goes missing. And, you know, even a single block of this probably, for, yeah, a single block provides much more than this because these are a 16th of a block thick. You should, in theory, get 32 carpet or at the very least, like, round that down to, like, 16 or something from these. But no, you get three. I don't know why, but that's uh, the game right there. So, <laughs> yeah, the, the, the carpet uh, is another recipe I don't really like. Another one I'm really, really not too fond of is the flower pot because the flower pot is made from free brick and you should get more than one flower pot because if you look at the flower pot, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a reasonably sized block. But if you just add one more brick to that pile, use four bricks together, you get the brick recipe. And uh, I don't know, this looks like one, it's a more solid material than this because this is kind of hollow on the inside. And two, it's much, much bigger, even though it's one third, uh, you know, may maybe I'm picking on things for size too much here. But uh, let's move on, on, on to the last one that you can really pick on for size. And that is the rails. Because if you have uh, six iron and one stick, you get 16 rails, right? So, you know, that's a lot of rails. We can... I don't, need, I don't need to show you how much rail 16 is, but then if you, uh, you know, if you are to do some slight changes to the recipe, so for instance, if you change it to have a bit of redstone there instead, you get six bits of rail. Um, uh, okay, and if you use hard rails or activated rails, you also get six, but they're both using the exact same formula of like the iron on the outside, which makes me think that you're using like triple as much iron just to make this than that and I, I just I just don't get it maybe maybe it's just me being a simpleton but <laughs> the, the fact that you use six iron here and get 16 rails but then six iron here but because you use a pressure plate it gets rid of 10 of the rails I, I'm not entirely sure I understand how that works but that is uh, that one right there so let's end this one on the biggest most illogical crafting recipe off all in my opinion because it has to be the golden apples because the regular golden apple you can kind of argue away and say yeah you coat it in gold you make it a real thick coating you waste some of the gold because obviously Obviously, that's a lot of ingots for an apple, but still, you get this super golden apple because in, in the Minecraft world, eating gold is very good for you. In real life, I would not recommend it, but yeah, that's how the game works. But what about the enchanted golden apple? So, this is made from an eight gold blocks, and as we all know, gold is one of the heaviest blocks in the game. This weighs an absurd amount, but yeah, also, I should be putting this down there, but yeah, if you look at the two golden apples side by side, one which uses one gold block total and one which uses eight gold blocks, they're the exact same thing. This one just glows slightly, and I just, just okay, so let, let me just put this in let me let me just show you how much you're using this is how much gold you are carrying in your hands which you know even though we know steve is a superhuman because obviously he can hold so much there's, there's this much being held in your hand for the same weight as this much i just i just don't understand it at all so yeah the enchanted golden apple is the least logical recipe to me i know it's there for balance reasons but you could at least make the apple slightly larger or something or maybe 
you know, make it, like, look different because they look exactly the same. This one just glows, which looks like you've enchanted a regular golden apple. In fact, I think that's the enchantment glow, right? So, yeah, that's that's how this works. I don't know why that works that way. Also, you know, while we're on the subject of uh, golden apples, why is the enchanted golden apple not called the enchanted golden apple? Why are they just both called golden apple in different colors? How, how are you meant to know which one's which? I mean, like, if you're, if obviously, uh, experienced players know this is the enchanted one, but... But, you know, they're just both golden apples in different colours. Uh, whatever. So, I'm just going to eat the enchanted golden apple and just be done with it, because that's how the game works. I hope you did all enjoy today's video. If you did like it, please do like the video and let me know. Share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this every single day on my channel, and if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have any suggestions for future videos like this one, because I know, you know, like, a lot of people like these slightly different videos. If you do, let me know in the comments. But anyway, other than that, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one, which will probably be later today or tomorrow. Goodbye.